Hello fellow travelers, we took a poll asking you how do you feel about staying in a Punta Cana resort where you have to board a golf cart and be driven to the beach. 15% of you don't mind, but a whopping 85% of you said the resort you stay in must be beachfront. Well, we stayed in a non-beachfront resort to see if it's worth it, and this was our experience. We paid $774 plus 2,000 Melia reward points for the two of us staying in the cheapest room at the Falcons Resort by Melia, All Suites Punta Cana. At the time of our stay, this was the newest resort in Punta Cana. Previously known as Paradisus Gran Cana, the Falcons Resort is located within the Melia complex in Bavaro, but not on the beach. This was our second time staying in a non-beachfront hotel in Punta Cana, but unlike the first time, the beach was not within walking distance from the resort. The beach is approximately 0.9 miles away, so the hotel provides a shuttle service to and from the beach. We waited around 4 minutes for the shuttle, and the drive to the beach was 8.5 minutes long in an electric cart. The beach area itself was not very nice, the furniture looked worn down and the space felt disorganized. The beach is right in front of another Melia hotel which was being remodeled, which added to the feeling of disarray in this area. There was an unusual amount of seaweed for this time of year. This was caused by an out-of-season ocean current that brought sargassum to the beach and the Melia staff was already cleaning it up. We believe Melia could definitely do a better job at making the beach area more comfortable and inviting. To go back to the resort, we waited around 8.5 minutes for the next shuttle and the drive back was 5.5 minutes long. For the 85% of you that said you would only stay in a beachfront resort in Punta Cana, please let us know in the comments what you think of the idea of a beach shuttle. Falcons Resort by Melia is located in Bavaro, Punta Cana, about 23 minutes away from the Punta Cana International Airport. This area is perfect for those who like getting out into town because it's close to popular attractions like downtown Punta Cana and Coco Bongo, which are only 14 minutes away by car, or the popular Los Corales and El Cortecito neighborhoods, only an 8 to 10 minutes drive. We really liked how the pools are located in this resort. There's a huge pool right in the center, and I mean huge. In addition, each room building has a pool area in the front and in the back, which does a great job at keeping people scattered across the different pools. We noticed that there are not many shaded areas around the pools as the vegetation is not very tall nor bushy. The Balinese beds around the main pool run out early in the morning. We think there's space for more beds to accommodate a greater number of people. There are a good number of chaise lounges in the other pools, but not too many umbrellas, which are basically the only way to get shade while lounging in the pools. We've stayed in over 10 Punta Cana resorts and we aim to stay in all of them and document our experience. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. There is a medium-sized water park on site, but it is mostly oriented to small kids, which was a bit disappointing. And of course, the Kathmandu Park is right next to the resort. The park is not included in the price, but the hotel does include a free shuttle to and from Kathmandu, where you will find a lot of attractions for the entire family. We had an amazing time trying some of the attractions like the golf course and the Mad Mage 4D Adventure. Click on the link in the description for our video about Kathmandu Park. The entertainment at the Falcons is not like your traditional Punta Cana hotel, especially during the day in which the entertainment is almost non-existent. During our two-night stay, we saw a live band playing, a dance group, and a silent disco. These activities were fun and we had a great time, but if you're expecting the big night show which is normal in other resorts in Punta Cana, then you might be disappointed. There is no disco per se, but the Ruby Rock Sports Bar becomes the disco at 11pm every night. The drinks are great and they play good music. 
Overall, this hotel is not big on entertainment, and this is fine. Some people don't like the night shows nor the daily activities in the pool. If you prefer a quiet resort to relax, then this might be a good one for you. If you want the full Punta Cana entertainment experience, then another hotel might be the answer. Falcons Resort has only one buffet restaurant, which is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The buffet is called Origen, and don't be fooled by its small size. It has a lot of options for everybody. We loved the food at the buffet. Everything was extremely tasty and very well cooked. And the pasta options, which are normally bland at resorts, were delicious at Origen. There are four a la carte restaurants. Some are open for lunch, and all of them are open for dinner. Carnica is the steakhouse. We had lunch in this restaurant, and overall, we had a very nice experience. Most of the food was very tasty and well cooked. John's ribs were a bit chewy and under seasoned, but the staff was super friendly and very attentive. The decoration, the atmosphere, and the vibe of this restaurant was super well accomplished. The Asian fusion restaurant is called Tori. Here you will find the teppanyaki show. We had a reservation for the teppanyaki show, and even though the show was underwhelming, the food was delicious and everything was perfectly cooked. Usually it's the other way around. The show is super entertaining, but the food is terrible. We were happy to see this was not the case at Tori. I'd rather have a good meal and a not so good show. Mashu is a Peruvian specialty restaurant. We didn't have the chance to eat here, but it looked beautiful. Mangu is an a la carte Latin food restaurant nearby the pool. It is open for lunch and dinner. We only tried a delicious walnut pie here. All the restaurants are first come, first serve, except for the Carnica Steakhouse and the Teppanyaki Show at the Asian Fusion Restaurant. If you ever get hungry between meals, there are three places where you can grab a snack. A crepe and ice cream mini truck, we tried it and it's nothing to write home about. At the sports bar, you can find tacos, hamburgers, salads and drinks. It is also a great place to watch live games. You have to try their fish tacos, they are super delicious. There is also a snack area at the beach in case you get hungry while you're there. Overall, we had a great experience with the food in this resort, but we couldn't help but feel a bit underwhelmed because for a resort at this price point, you come to expect at least a coffee shop and an Italian or Mexican restaurant which are staple cuisines in this type of resort. It's important to mention that all the restaurants at the Garden Suites by Melia, which is right next door, are also included while staying at the Falcons Resort. This resort does a great job when it comes to the drinks. There are five bars across the resort, so whenever you want to have a drink, you'll be near a bar. The alcohol is of good quality and the cocktails are very well prepared. John ended up drinking five margaritas in one night and he's not a huge drinker. This is how good the cocktails were. From the moment we arrived at the Falcons Resort, we noticed that the staff was going to go above and beyond to make our stay wonderful. Even though our check-in process was a little bit bumpy because our bracelets were not ready at the front desk when we arrived, the person at the front desk took us personally to the buffet restaurant to make sure they let us in without the bracelets while we were waiting for them. We've stayed in over 10 Punta Cana resorts so far, and the staff at the Falcons Resort by Melia has been the friendliest and nicest we've encountered. Our checkout process was very smooth and quick. Overall, we don't have any complaints about the team that works at Falcons. Honestly, they are just amazing, hardworking people who truly made our stay special. The hotel is called Falcons Resort by Melia All Suites Punta Cana. So you guessed it, all the rooms here are suites. We stayed in the cheapest one for two people and let me tell you, this room blew our minds away. It became our favorite room in a Punta Cana resort so far. It was a 74 square meters suite. There's a kitchenette with microwave, countertop, coffee station, sink and minibar. This minibar was something else. It has the best stocked minibar we've seen so far in a resort. It had from Heineken beer to Perrier sparkling water. 
There was also a very comprehensive snack station. From chips to chocolates, it had something for your midnight snack. For ultimate privacy, the bedroom is separated from the living room and kitchen areas. It's beautifully decorated, the beds are extremely comfortable, a TV and a lot of closet space which we loved. The bathroom was huge, it was also beautifully decorated and sparkling clean. We had a balcony with a hot tub and very comfortable furniture. Overall, the room smelled amazing and it was very clean. There is also a small sitting area with a sofa, an accent chair, and another TV. Check out the link in the description for a more in-depth review of the room of this resort. We struggled on how to score a non-beachfront resort in Punta Cana. Overall, we scored this hotel with an 8 out of 10. Please let us know in the comments what you think of our score. Now click on this video for a full tour of the Falcons Resort by Melia.